Hello everyone, Kevin Eikhoff here from Kevin Eikhoff Ministries and I'm continuing to answer questions that some fellow subscribers have sent in. Today's particular question is, what did Bruno Groni mean by the Great Return? And why is it necessary for spirit or yeah, why is it necessary for spiritual healing and how can we attain this in our lives? The great return is when you are returning for your final peace here. Your final piece of evolution before you reach the divine. This is the great return. The final return, you could call it. The return in which you return here, and when he's referring to return, it's that reincarnation piece. So, Bruno was basically saying to people, you reincarnate without saying reincarnation. So the great return is returning back to this earth for evolutionary purposes. The great return. Think of like Maha Samadhi. Maha means great. When, they, when someone dies, they say you go into Maha Samadhi. Samadhi being the greatest realm you can reach, the greatest thing you can reach through meditation and there's states of samadhi and so maha you're leaving the body and the only way you can achieve that is to leave the body so great you're you're doing great samadhi maha so the great return the great return is maha maha return you, you're coming here, you're returning here because you've been here before. It's as simple as that. It's as simple as it sounds. You're coming here and you're returning to evolve in that final phase, that final evolutionary phase in which you connect with the divine personally and you are all-knowing and become one with him or her however you perceive it. Uh, we always try to put names on things, titles on things. That's not always the best thing to do because it limits us. We don't want to have limitation when we're trying to get to the divine. So the great return is returning and doing the greatest spiritual work you can do on this particular planet to or with humanity because you are serving the creation. God created humanity in the image of his own self. And you serving humanity is a form of serving the divine. And so the more you service humanity, the more you service yourself. And so helping your fellow neighbor, simple things, just helping somebody across the street or helping somebody that they drop their groceries or whatever, you help them pick them up. Doing daily acts of kindness. These kinds of things are very important for your evolution and your development. This is, these are the kinds of things to develop kindness and compassion and understanding. And I see lots of people and, and many yoga teachers out there I've seen, you know, they, they proclaim to be a great yoga teacher and I see they have great classes, they fill up and whatever, and then they're done the class and then they come out, they don't even know who you are, they have no idea, they get in their car, they ignore you, they don't even say hi to you on the street. It's about developing compassion, understanding, awareness, awareness of all things because you are all things and until you can see that and experience that you'll need to just continue to work and so Bruno one of the things I found that Bruno said to me that was the greatest thing he ever really said was the great turnaround you want to turn yourself around 180 degrees you're looking in the wrong direction most of the time it's a great turnaround. You want to you wanna look in the opposite direction and find these things I'm talking about. Compassion, kindness, 
serving humanity, serving your fellow man, not criticizing people, not being mean, helping people to the best of your ability. I've been in some of the Bruno groups in which people were nasty and mean, just outright mean. And you could feel it coming right from their soul, the meanness that was there. Do you think they're going to evolve any further in this lifetime? I doubt it. They're going to have to come back. And when they come back, are they going to come back for that great return? Probably not. They're probably going to have to come back several times for that great return. You have to work on these things. These things are here to work on. And Bruno did his best, best to try to connect you to that divine energy by doing daily Einstein daily practice. But it's always still daily Einstein daily practice. Daily practice is extremely important. You have to do it all the time and you don't want to miss. It's always about that practice. And you'll do it right up to the very end, till your last breath here. You're going to do that daily practice. And, you know, Bruno never really got the chance to explain to people and bring people into that meditative experience. He showed Einstein, and Einstein brought about massive healing to people. And they healed and they went back to a lot of the kinds of foods that they loved to eat and things like this. Or, you know, they were able to walk now that they weren't able to walk before. And lots of them just continued on their lives. But they didn't develop spiritually any further. You know, the person who developed spiritually the most was someone known as um, Alfred Hosp. And he wrote a book on it. And actually, several books. Um, and he talks about his spiritual experiences through Bruno. And I highly encourage those, at least in Germany, to obtain those books about Alfred Hosp or Freddy Hosp and gain that understanding that he left there for you from the spiritual realm. He didn't heal physically. He didn't because of the damage that was done to him as a child, he was dropped as a baby and had damage to his nervous system. But he still continued on and moved into a very, very powerful spiritual realm. And so this is what I encourage everybody to do. I encourage you to move into that spiritual realm and really make this a very powerful return this particular time because you may have to come back again and that will be the great return and with that being said i wish you a lovely day jai bhagwan namaste may you see the light within yourself and within all others